My name is Latanya Taliamtua. I'm 18 years old. I just graduated from Tuba City High School. Basketball is the main sport here at Tuba City because everybody loves basketball. Since we've had our um, championships, it attracted more people into knowing that we can do another championship the next year. Our, the first championship that we had was since I was a sophomore. We didn't really know what to expect and it was the first time down at America West Arena in Phoenix and it was really amazing because pro basketball players are there and we've actually been in the locker room, in the gym, actually on the, on the floor um, playing. Since then, we've all been training hard, practicing hard, going to different camps, trying to train ourselves for the next year and also keeping in shape during school as well. The girls on the team um, are into running as well. So um, the season starts out with cross country and football and all the, all the other stuff, but we kind of mainly um, headed towards running so we can keep our bodies in shape so we won't have to be running down the court all um, huffing and puffing so we weren't all tired. As it came to the season where we had to um, sign up and there was a lot of girls trying out and we had cuts and to see who would make the team. We can only have 12 on the team because the school sometimes only have like 12 jerseys so that's the maximum we can have usually it starts out with their maybe their parents that it's just kind of they were brought up that way they were brought up to play basketball because maybe their parents played it and or their parents want them to play we have been getting a lot of support throughout our seasons especially from the community. It's not just from here, Monkupi, but it's up in Tuba, where all the families and relatives and cousins, brothers, sisters, grandparents are all, they all come together and um, they're just proud of us. I know in the Navajo way, actually a couple of my teammates have, um, they do like a blessing, they call it a blessing to help themselves um, to not get hurt or, you know, just to play well and um, have team spirit and stuff. So it just kind of keeps them going. I'm not too sure, I'm not too familiar with blessings, but I know they do things like either in teepees or hogans. And usually they stay up all night singing songs for their families and just mainly for that one person they're do, that they're doing a blessing for. A lot of people here do have tournaments in the community for either women's or men's, or they have little kids like 13 and under or 14 and under, it just depends. And they also have peewee basketball here. Oh, I would encourage them to have skills because um, there are all different kind of camps that they can go to um, that help them develop these skills, especially on the reservation because out in different states, it's just really competition, competition, you have to win. But here, it's just like you develop your skills, you do what you do to make you feel good, and then you bring it onto the court so you can show people what you've learned and how well you've, how well you've learned it. Peewee basketball is um, probably through the ages, maybe five to eight or four to eight, somewhere around there. They're really young. It's just a really fun um, to watch them play because they're really funny too. I mean, we don't mean to laugh at them. It's just their their appearances of how they play, but they're, it's really fun for them and they know what they're doing. So I think basketball is like just to have fun it brings everyone together like it did for all our championships it's nothing dealing with yourself no eyes or like 
um, like my team, it's always our team. Play with the ball, shoot around, but you don't have to play in games or play like one on one or three on three. But it's just a lot of fun, I think.